So hello everyone. Welcome to happymath.com. So this time we continue to cover two sample hypertesting with a large sample case. Okay, so please look at this example. The American Automobile Association claimed that the average daily cost for meals and lodging for vacationing in Texas is less than the same average cost for vacationing in Virginia. The two samples are independent. A R factor point zero one is there enough evidence to support the claim? Okay. So remember here. So it mentioned the first Texas tree first and then Virginia second here. So whenever you count which one is the X one, which is X X two, then Texas always X one, the Virginia always become X two. Okay. Then now based on this, now we can set up. Uh, the hyperdata testing setup here. So, H O and the H A. So when I read these um, sentences here, so vacation in Texas is less than the same average cost for vacation in Virginia. So now we can say, so view. I'm gonna just um, insert twice. So mu1 is less than and mu2. Okay. Then now I'm going to copy this to here. Then I only switch this one. So insert symbol and then bigger than y equal to. Okay. Now. Okay. Then now this is our claim. Okay. Because it shows that less than the second place basically. Alright. Then now we continue to using the same formula z equal to x bar 1 minus x bar 2 minus mu 1 minus mu 2 over sigma x bar 1 minus x bar 2. So again, so in this scenario we always assume mu 1 equal to mu 2 so the difference becomes 0. So it is like meaningless here. Okay. So then let's find out the standard deviation value. Okay. So standard deviation value. So this become square root. Okay, then now we want to do uh, S1. So 15 square and divide by 50. Close the parenthesis plus open the parenthesis one more time. And 22 square divide by 35. Close twice. Okay, then this is our the standard deviation value. And now is it a uh, one tail or two tail? Yeah, it shows that less than, so it's one tail. Is uh, among the one tail, it is the uh, left tail test here. Okay, so now z critical value that equal to normal, the standard inverse, and you, you just type the alpha value zero point zero one. Okay, then that's our basically alpha. I mean the z critical value, so I'm going to rounding about 100 digits, so we can see better. So negative 2.33 this our z critical value. Okay, then now which means uh, based on negative 2.33, so left side become HA and then right side become HO, right? Okay. So I'm going to just make a different color here. So HA, so green, and then HO, so yellow here. Okay. Then now, Z sample. So this case equal to, now X bar 1, which is 248, minus X bar 2, 252, and now minus 0, but because zero doesn't mean anything, so I'm not going to write it. And then divide by the our standard deviation value. Okay, then that's the our z sample score. Okay, then I'm going to bring this down. Down here. Okay, so. Okay. Then now, where this phase belongs to? Is it belongs to HA or HO? Yes, it is belong to 
HO because this value is bigger than negative 2.33. So since Z sample value belongs to HO, we cannot reject HO. So now we can say fail to reject HO basically. Make sense to you? Okay, then now. So our Z sample is HO and the claim was on HA. So therefore, we can say there is not enough evidence to support the claim. So there would be no difference cost of traveling between two states. Okay, so that will be the answer for this problem.